Okay, guys, we decided we're going to record on how we store our spaghetti pasta and our ziti pasta, which I just purchased today. And when we purchase something or we get something in bulk, we try and put it away immediately. That way, it's a whole lot less going on. Uh, Jim's going to put one of these zitties in a one gallon Mylar bag to see if it fits. And I'm thinking we're only going to get this 24 ounce bag in a uh, Mylar bag, one bag per. And we did put a cut in the bag. As you can see, we're getting all the air out of this bag as we possibly can. And that's one of the goals is to get as much air out of your, out of your product as you can. So we're doing that. Now, once it's in the, the packaging, we are going to um, put a oxygen absorber in and seal them. So uh, we're going to bag these up and we'll be right back with you. Okay, the Ziti pasta is in the Mylar. As you can see, we left it in the original packaging. We were able to get two 24 ounce bags of Ziti in a one gallon bag, and we have plenty of room for still for sealing this up. We will put oxygen absorber in this package as soon as we're ready to start sealing. Right now, we're getting ready to um, pack up our spaghetti. But one of the things to note is the packs are labeled. I label before we seal them because I want to know what's in the pack so I don't forget. And we have done it the other way and we had to really be careful. We had like seven or eight Mylar packages on the counter and no labels. So label first, then seal just for accuracy, for your own information. And don't forget when you're doing this, Add it to your long-term inventory as well. Without inventorying it, you're not going to know what you got put back. All right, we're going to be working on the spaghetti. We're not real sure yet how we're going to do it. <laughs> My bird's going off. But we'll try it with the packaging so it's more portioned out and more controlled when we open the bag. And then if that doesn't work, then we'll actually open them up and break the spaghetti noodles in half if we have to. But I'd like to see this ha work really good this way because I can lay these flat and they'll stack really beautifully. Okay, Jim's saying it works. And he is cutting a hole in each bag to let the air out of the pasta packaging so that the oxygen absorber can actually work and remove any extra air that's in the packages. Oh, my bird's having a ball. Okay, I think we're just going to watch Jim put this in. Can you label this one? This one's not labeled. I only labeled one pasta, spaghetti pasta, so you need to label a second one. The marker's right there. We do use a permanent marker. You have to be careful because, as you can see, it smudges. You have to be very careful. you got to let it dry before handling. All right, Jim's handwriting is a lot tidier than mine. That's an H-E-T-T-I. Don't worry about it. We know what spaghetti is. <laughs> and spaghetti pasta. The 9 of 2015 goes on there as well. You always want to date your packaging so that you use the oldest first if you're rotating your foods. And I highly recommend you rotate your foods. Jim did pretty good on his own packing that spaghetti, so we're going to just follow along with him as he packs the spaghetti. Now this will be a total of 48 ounces of pasta per pack. That is something you can add to your label that there's 48 ounces of spaghetti pasta in there. Okay, we're gonna get ready to get our um, oxygen absorbers and our sealing. We have the iron hot and in this jar is my oxygen absorbers. I have two sizes. I have the 2,000 milliliters and the um, smaller ones. I believe they're like 300 milliliters. So we're, oh, don't rub that. That's going to wipe right off right now because it's still wet. All right, is, are you going to try and do this by yourself? Okay, Jim's going to try and do it by himself. We will partially seal it and then we will put the oxygen absorbers in. And that ensures a better a better product in the end because you can actually get more air out of the packaging. 
I'm not sure how it's going here. Want me to hold this side? That way it doesn't wrinkle. We try to do it with no wrinkles. Who's there? How's that? See how nice and smooth that gets? It's not important that it's smooth. What's important is that it seals. That's your important step. Okay, Jim's gonna partially seal all of them and then we'll get the mylar, um, not the mylar, but the oxygen absorbers out and have that step being done. I got a big hairy arm in my way when I'm filming here. <laughs> it's funny because when we first start doing this, we're always afraid of burning each other with a hot iron. And I have a huge phobia of hot irons because I had one actually slide down my arm as a uh, child. And I had third degree burns. There we go. Looks pretty good. Now some people will have their oxygen absorbers in these as they're waiting to get them sealed. We're finding that um, it's better to actually get a partial seal on each one and then get as much air out as we possibly can because we'll put a straw in there and pull as much air out as we can and then finish the seal. It's nice to have a helper today. Generally when we do this, we do do it as a team because sometimes it takes one to hold the package and one to run the iron. Okay, ready for me? There we go. There we go. You see, none of this is rocket science. This is pretty easy to do. The rocket science comes into finding the mylar and the oxygen absor absorbers in the right thickness and getting a good deal on them. That's where it gets a little more complicated. I think we are ready for our oxygen absorbers. Jim's going to get them out. You hear that hiss on that jar? That's exactly what we want to hear. Now, one of the things to look at, see this eye? It's still pink. That means my oxygen absorbers are still good. You need four of them. Okay. And the, now, what will happen is, as we work on putting them in the bags, the rest go back, right back in the jar, as fast as you can. Yeah, we're in a race against time because we want those because we pay good money for them. We want them to be good when we need them. All right, Jim's tucking that in there. There goes another one. He's getting awful good at this. There goes another one. Okay, one more, and then we can finish sealing these. There we go. Now we can finish sealing. All right, I'm gonna hold this side, and he's gonna put some more heat seal on there. This is a finished product here in one minute because the oxygen absorber is in, the seal is being finished. And what you're doing is just melding the two sides of that mylar bag together. Now this will be set back until tomorrow. We will check the seals tomorrow. So you want to give them at least 24 hours for that oxygen oxygen absorber to finish cranking down and sucking the air out. We've had really good luck sealing them this way. We don't have any fancy tools, just an old iron. And this iron is probably 15 years old. Now, one of the other things to note is this tab right here. So I can get it on film here. Right there. There's a good shot of it. That tab is a tear tab, which is why we try and seal just the upper portion of this bag. So that when we need to open this bag, it's a, just a rip area to be done. All right, Jim's working on the spaghetti pasta. 
And see how careful he is just to keep a nice thin line up there? And that's all it takes. Now we slide this out of his way. We're just rocking it together. Awesome, babe. Yep. Teamwork. Look at that. Gotta love it when a plan comes together. As long as you're not near my fingers, we're going to get along just fine. <laughs> all right, folks. That's it. I've got all the pasta I bought at the Dollar Tree today. It's all sealed in Mylar bags with oxygen absorber. And we are done. Now we can just put this in a safe place. Keep it away from pets and animals. Because you don't want them to puncture your bags. So that they seal and they get airtight. They'll suck down so you can actually see the outline of some of the pasta. And you'll know you have a good seal. And um, that's it for sealing pasta in Mylar and oxygen absorbers. Have a blessed day.